Carol's back in her art room today. Came home for a few days. And I thought I would do a bottom of a bottle pour. I'm just mixing up my white because I'm going to spread white all over the bottom, all over the base as a base coat. I'm just trying to get my consistency nice and runny. And this is um, this is Artist Loft White with Floetrol. Um, it's a one-to-one -one ratio with water. So I'm just adding a little more water. See if I can get this a little more runny. I want it to. I don't want to have to spread it manually. I want it to just flow around. Okay. This looks pretty good now. I don't have any silicone in any of my paints right now. I also have purple, or actually violet, Artist Loft, mixed with Floetrol. And this is um, one to one, a little over one to one with the Floetrol, I added more Floetrol because this is a thicker paint. I also have um, some of the red, Brilliant Red by Dallar Rowney. It's more of a fluid paint, so it's like a one to one ratio also. And then I have magenta, which is basics. I have a lot of that. I'm going to use that. I also have some deep red mixed up. Okay, so I'm going to get started with this. Pour this around. I haven't done one of these for a while. Let's see if I can get this to flow around. Probably need all of it. <clears throat> Help it with my stick. It's going to be covered with the other paint anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. everywhere. Make little bubbles. Get my sides covered. That would be good. Alrighty. Okay. I think I'm ready to start. I missed a spot. You can always touch them up later. And I get the bubbles out with my heat gun.
Okay, here it goes. Try and put this in the middle. There we go. I'm going to start with the deep red. I'm going to add a little more. I'll get a stick, give it a little final stir just to make sure it's liquidy enough. And here we go. The white paint underneath helps it spread, I believe, and flow. Um, put some purple beside that and then I'll put some white. I got a little white left here, but I do have some already mixed. I like to keep some white mixed up. I seem to use that a lot. Okay, now I'll use this lighter red. Or should I do the pink? Actually, I think I'll do the pink. Lighter red. bit of white, a little more white. Okay, it's time for more purple. Purple's a lovely color. I'll do some pink on top of the purple. Pink on top. See how that goes. Sorry about that. Ooh, shook my can. I kicked the leg. Bit more pink.
going to do the dark red now. A little bit of white. Purple. Well, okay, I think I want more red. Now, a dark red, I believe, will go nice. Starting to run off this end. Whoops. I'm losing my cup. I think I'm ready for more white. <clears throat> I think I'm almost done. And then when I take this off carefully, I will pour some color in the middle. I think some purples do next.
All right, well, I think the rest of this light red would be good in there. Give it some thought. Okay, this is looking pretty awesome, I think. I think I'm pretty much done. Well, what color should I do next? I guess maybe a little bit of white in the middle. And then I'll add some color when I pull it off. I think that's plenty of paint. This is, uh, I think, a nine by nine canvas. 10 by 10, which is a good size for this. time to take this off. Oh, there's a lot of paint falling off the sides here. I think I'll just do some Red and some purple. I won't have much purple left. And I think some pink in the middle. Take a, a knife and go through this. Just gives it a nice effect. I think I'm going to I'm not going to move it. I just want this paint here to flow over a little more.
There. I think it's done. That's it. I like it. I hope you like it. This would be awesome on a on a record because it's round. I think I'm going to try one on a record this weekend up at my cottage. Girls weekend coming up and we're all going to paint. Diane King Walker, Susan King and Carol King. Carol Penhill King. All three of us sisters are doing YouTube channels. I have another sister, Wendy King. She's going to paint also. And I think we're going to have fun. There will probably be a video being posted. We'll see how it goes. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel. Come back for more. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, it's Carol. I came back downstairs to my art room to see how my paintings are. This one that I posted first dried very well. The design didn't move or flow off the canvas. The consistency was better. It dried smooth. And this was with um, deco art paints and pouring medium so then this one I posted second but I actually did it first so I this one had more paint underneath and it was a little bit thinner so it moved a bit so the design changed a little bit a few cells popped up here and there, but it's not bad. It came out kind of cool. It dried smooth also. I think this was with Votrol as a pouring medium, and this was with DecoArt and DecoArt paint, which I really like. This was with Artist Loft paint but a thinner consistency. Anyway, I just thought I would put this in my last video to show you guys. And I appreciate everybody watching and uh, I'll be doing some more. I'm enjoying these bottle, bottom bottle pours. They're really cool. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.